I will be presenting Sense MRI. I'm Tala Deniz Bahadır. Sense is a parallel imaging MRI method that stands for Sensitivity Encoding for Fast MRI. The algorithm ultimately aims to acquire MRI images faster without sacrificing SNR or resolution. The algorithm benefits from the difference of sensitivity of each coil that is used in imaging. The sensitivity encoding of the coils are stored in an array and this array, when Conducting 2D Fourier imaging with Cartesian case-based sampling reduces the number of Fourier encoding steps needed. The technique reduces the scan time by increasing the distance between case-based sampling positions while maintaining the maximum K values and approximately protects the spatial resolution while reducing the scan time. The ratio of the reduced case-based samples to the original number of samples is referred as the reduction factor. The sense method consists of several steps. The initial step consists of acquiring the sensitivity maps of the coils. In order to map the sensitivity, firstly, a low-resolution full field of view image is acquired from each coil. These images are then normalized by using the body coil image. After filtering, thresholding, and point estimation, the maps are generated. The maps represent the weighing of each signal acquired from various points. This later on helps, re helps the removing of the superposition of pixels from the original pixel. The algorithm reduces the case space samples in Fourier domain, which results in reduction of field of view and aliasing. The aliasing appears on image domain as if multiple images are superimposed on each other but with different intensities and weights. The advantage of sense algorithm is that it benefits from the aliasing and superimposing of the pixels to acquire the full image. It acquires the full field of the image from intermediate images by undoing the signal superposition that causes the foldover effect. For each pixel in the reduced field of view, the signal contributions from other surrounding positions in the full field of view must be separated. The reduced field of view, full field of view and the contributing pixels can be modeled as seen on the image. As seen on the figure, this signal separation must take place in order to remove the effects of the surrounding points. In this step, the sensitivity encoding comes into good use. For each single coil, the signal superposition occurs with different weights according to coil sensitivity. The coil sensitivities were calculated and mapped beforehand applies a different weight to every position. The sensitivity mapping can be demonstrated by the image below. In order to start unfolding, the first step is to create the sensitivity matrix S. This matrix is limited by NP and NC, which are superimposed pixel numbers and number of coils used respectively. It is important to note in this point that the number of pixels to be unfolded is bounded by the number of coils used. The sensitivity matrix is, can, can be written as shown in the figure, also here in these equations, where S, SY represents the spatial sensitivity of the coil Y, and the RP represents the position of the pixel P. The unfolding matrix is then acquired from sensitivity matrix as seen. U is the unfolding matrix where theta represents the receiver noise matrix and it is nc by nc and h represents a matrix being transposed and it is its conjugate symmetry being taken overall the separated pixel value can be gathered by the equation below v equals to u times a where a represents the complex image value in the chosen pixel some phantom experiments have been conducted for phantoms with different reduction factors. An experimental setup of five coil arrays were arranged and a fast gradient field echo sequence was conducted. The reduction factor varied from 1 to 4, one indicating no reduction. The images are demonstrated as seen. The left column shows the conventional sum of squares, the middle shows the sense reconstruction, and the right column shows the noise. Although the images don't show a significant artifact with increasing Reduction factor, they show an inhomogeneity in noise distribution, having a higher intensity of noise in the middle. An axial brain image was taken with the sense MRI. Two coils were placed next to the patient's head facing each other. The sequence used was inversion recovery turbo spinaco. It used a field of view as 210 mm and a flip angle of 90 degrees. The TI was 159 milliseconds and the TE was 11 milliseconds. Slice thickness was 5 mm and there was 17 echoes per echo train. The image depicts A, the intermediate image, 
B. The sense reconstructed image with reduction factor of 2 and C. Sense reconstructed image with R equals to 1. Although the SNR is reduced in R equals to 2, case there are no visible artifacts or drop in quality. Grappa is a case-based PMRI method and sense is a image parallel MRI method. They can be compared in numerous criteria. The first criterion is total imaging time. Grapp is known to take longer than SANS for calibration of case space lines. SANS may also have a calibration time, but in some cases the calibration is done in the pulse sequence itself. The second criterion is the SNR. The SNR appears to be similar when reduction factor is 2. However, as the reduction factor increases, the SNR shows an improvement in SANS. The GRAPA method, however, is more advantageous in heterogeneous body parts because of the coil sensitivity mapping of SANS. The sensitivity mapping gets affected by the change in susceptibility like between air and the tissue and proves to be worse in imaging the lungs. Motion is also an important criterion. If SANS method conducts the calibration before the difference in motion bet between the calibration time and the imaging time may cause a distor distortion. The second problem is holding the breath. The patient may not be able to hold the same amount of air inside their lungs during imaging as they did during calibration. And as said before, the already existing susceptibility effect on SANS added with the change of air causes significant artifact artifacts in torso imaging. Last two criteria are field of view and using single shot echoplanar imaging. As said before, the reduction of field of view creates aliasing in SANS, whereas GRAPA is more tolerant. However, it shouldn't be referred as a disadvantage on SANS's side, such that SANS benefits from this aliasing effect. As for single shot EPI, GRAPA is more preferable due to the field distortion that may be caused due to susceptibility difference. The image on the screen represents an experiment to image the brain using two different reconstruction methods, SANS and GRAPA. In this experiment, four coils and a reduction factor of four was used. The A sense image shows inhomogeneous noise distribution as previously seen in phantom experiments, while the noise distribution on B grappa image is more homogeneous. However, aliasing effects and artifacts are more visible on the grappa image. The image on the screen shows a cardiac imaging experiment. The sense image A has a reduction factor of two and there are some visible artifacts in the image. The B image, Grappa, shows non-visible artifacts.